Hey there, B and I mean Kelly Mank, your executive director. Today we have a special guest with us, Erin Martin, who owns Social Mamas, which is a digital marketing agency, and she is fantastic. She is going to talk a little bit about some tips and tricks on what to do on some of our social media pages to help us in the business world. So I'm going to turn it over to Erin. Perfect. Well, actually, what I'm really going to focus on is your personal profile, because when we are becoming this great resource to all of these members who are passing our names along, we're becoming a resource to others as well, which is so, so important to us. And that's really one of the main reasons we're in BNI is to become those resources for people, right? Um, so I'm just going to go over a couple of quick tips on making sure your Facebook profile is set up for super success. Um, and just a couple of those are your security and login, login settings. Make sure you have your two factor authentication it's on. If you're ever planning on running Facebook ads, that's now a requirement. And it's just a best practice to have that backup security because Facebook can get hacked and we just wanna make sure that protection is there. Uh, privacy settings, who can see your friend requests? You wanna set that to everybody um, because if you are tagged in different groups, um, you wanna make sure that they, your profile is visible and somebody can tag you because if it's, that's not even available, then um, the less visible you can be. And the next in that section is profiles and tagging. Make sure your uh, the friends option is chosen. It could be um, only you, or your friends option. So those are just the two options. Make sure the friends option is chosen. And then the next couple of things are specific to your Facebook profile. So optimizing your bio is super important. Make It's a very quick one to two sentence statement. Try to shorten your elevator pitch in there. Um, and then your intro have links to your website and other social pages. Um, that's super important because when somebody's learning more about you and they're developing these relationships with you on Facebook, you want to be able to give them a quick, easy access link to what you're, you're, what you're all about, what your business is about, what your um, Instagram is all about, all of those social links. You want to make sure those are there. And then finally, um, you want to be able to tag your businesses. So your po position, Aaron is a digital marketing specialist at Social Mana's. Um, and I'm tagging my Facebook page. You're tagging your other um, social links. All of those things are super, super important to make sure you have as an uh, available and visible on your Facebook profile. That's fantastic, Erin. Seriously, I was just telling Erin how when we make some posts on the um, regional BNI main Facebook page, sometimes I'm not able to tag some of our members. And I it drives me crazy because really I just want to try to market our members as much as I possibly can. So if I can't tag you, how am I going to help market you? Um, so if you have any questions about this, please reach out to Erin. She is in the BNI Successful Business Partners chapter. She's amazing. Her and I had a one-to-one. -one. She blew my, just blew my head off completely. <laughs> she knows everything that has to do with Facebook and Facebook ads. Um, so Erin, any last, Erin, one last question. Do you feel or find that when people are looking to do business with you, that they're looking at people's, at, at the owner's, you know, personal pages? Absolutely. Because um, especially as a referral source, right? Um, people love to do business with those that they know, like, and trust. And the more connections that we have in common elevates that uh, often um, authority right away, right? So so if Kelly Mank were to tag me in a referral, I'm going to win that client because there's so many different connections there. So you want to make sure, um, yeah, that your profile, your personal profile is set up for success. Oh, and the one last tip is just remember that your personal profile is not to be used for business purposes. That's actually against Facebook's terms of service and they can kind of shut your profile down for that. Um, so you don't wanna end up in Facebook jail, follow the terms of service, invite them to like your page and engage with your business page. That's where you'd be doing business. Um, your personal profile should be used for creating relationships and connections. I always tell people, be really careful what you put on your personal profile because your business clients will find it. Absolutely. So, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. I think there's a ton of value in um, this type of help. And like I said, everybody, if you have questions, please reach out to Erin. Um, thank you so much and happy networking.